Assuming everything's okay, let's get to your setup instructions. First, to prevent lifting when opening the tent, make sure the over center latches on the side of your trailer are locked. Next, undo the tonneau cover at the back and on the sides, and then roll it to the front. Now go to the driver's side. Unfold the first stage of the PVC flooring off the side of the trailer and fold out any canvas on either side. When you've done that, fold the remainder of the PVC floor off the camper. Get one person to stand on the passenger side of the camper and using a broom or similar, lift the top bows, that's the roof supports, while the other person stands on the driver's side of the camper and holds the canvas and pulls it slowly. The canvas should now glide easily off the trailer. If you feel the canvas snag, stop pulling immediately or you could tear the canvas. Next step is to fold the two passenger side canvas corners down over the corners of the trailer. Okay, you're going great. So now unzip the doors, the canvas and the screen. Now go into the tent and extend both sides of the first bow. This will push the tent roof over the bed area up into position. Next, extend the third bow as far as it will go. Don't worry about the middle bow, it's permanently set. Great. And here's a tip. To make sure the tent is as taut as possible, readjust the first and third bows. Remember the middle bow is permanently set. It's time to kick out the floor into the corners and smooth down. Under the mattress you'll find two aluminium spreader bars with C-clips on either end, plus two poles with a rubber foot at one end and a C-clip on the other. It's time to install the C-clip poles into the corners of the tent and push the roof up. Adjust the height and twist them to lock. Connect the two spreader bars between the main bow and the aluminium crossbar in the roof at the end of the tent. Stretch them out and twist to lock. You're well on the way now. Now it's time to peg down the tent. How many pegs and ropes you use will of course depend on weather conditions. For a quick overnight stop, you may not need any pegs or ropes. But for windy or rainy conditions, you may want to put them all out. We suggest you first fit your windbreak, if you have one, to ensure it lines up with the tent before you peg it all down. If you have shade cloth floor, peg that down before you set up the annex. This will save you time later. You now need to install the three annex ridge spreader bars. They will have a hook on one end. Locate these through the three eye bolts on the tent and let the spreaders hang loosely for the moment. Zip the main annex roof onto the tent. Next, you need to set up the awning poles. Note that there are six seven foot six poles and two nine-foot poles in your pole kit, plus optional spreader bars if you order them. The locations of all these poles and spreaders are detailed in your customer care folder. While we give you enough poles, pegs and ropes for a basic setup, you can obtain extras from us at wholesale prices, or you can get them from camping stores, Kmart and so on. Almost done now. If you have annex walls, zip them into place. And here's a tip. Once the walls are zipped on, zip the door shut before you make your final adjustments to the poles. This way you make sure the door will shut at night. And that's it. You're finished. Time for a cold one.